Hey gang, welcome back. I just got a new little device to put on my dash. Um, we're gonna test it out. This is just kind of a trial run. We'll see how it goes. I know it's not probably the um, most strategically placed, but if you were to see my dash, my dash isn't exactly level and the um, the other device that I had wasn't, well, I just couldn't get it to stick onto anything. So I'm just at lunch. I, I wasn't expecting to get this until tomorrow and it came today. So I ran home at lunchtime and thought, ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna run home and get it. And um, I am gonna drive around a little bit, take you with me while I drive around and talk to you for a little bit. How is everybody doing today? Um, how is your journey on to Pyramate doing? Uh, how are you feeling? I haven't seen too many comments lately, so I'm hoping and praying that you are all doing well. I really hope that um, more of you start to give me some feedback too as to how you're doing, how you're feeling, what you know, what kind of things are you feeling? What what kind of things are you going through? Um, what kind of what kind of side effects are you having? I guess is is part of what I'm asking. Um, we'll see how jiggly this seems to be. Our streets are in dire need of repair around here. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day in the tri-state area. As you can see, the sun is shining. It's glorious. It feels so good to have the sun shining today. Um, I'm in a good spot today. How about you? I hope that you are too. Um, we just kind of have to take things day by day, don't we? just hoping that uh, the placement of where I've put you <laughs> isn't too blocking or that I don't get into any kind of trouble or anything. We'll see. Because if I put you too far over to the right, I'm, I'm not sure. Or my right, your left. many of the rest of y'all uh, wave like that where you're from you yeah. give the head nod or do you wave with a uh, maybe a one finger or two finger or a full hand I'm sorry I know I'm just this this is just like a test trial run kids we're just this we're just seeing how this goes seeing what happens. I'm going to check this for sound, see if it's too loud, if I'm not loud enough, if it would be better if I can try and use a lavalier. I know I have a lavalier, but I don't remember if it works with my phone, which I think it does, because um, that's what I'm shooting on. I have an iPhone 8 Plus. And that's what I shoot all my videos on, if you're wondering. Uh, and I know I say um too much. I try to correct that. I'm a creature of habit. But this is kind of a nice little thing. It's a, It also has a little holder in the front of it. I will mark down below the, the name of it. I'll show a little picture of it at some point in time. Uh, maybe actually what I'll do is I'll put it in as my thumbnail so that you can see exactly what it is that I'm using. We're going to take a little ride out into the country, kind of make the country block before I go back to work. Um, but anyway, there's a little um, grasp, a little holder in the front of it <clears throat> that will hold your charging cord so if you do need to charge up your phone while you're going down the road, it'll at least uh, 
um, hold your cord so it kind of stays out of the way so it isn't in front of the screen. So in case you want to actually use your phone for GPS going down the road and not be filming videos like yours truly. But I'm really hoping and praying that this works because as I said before in one of my videos, I so much of the time when I'm out driving is when I get some of my best thoughts. I do some of my best thinking and I think that's because I am, other than for videoing, I'm totally and completely unplugged. I am not playing a game on my phone, I'm not watching television, I'm not, I'm not plugged into anything and it is just awesome. I, um, I can just, I'm free to think. I, I'm free to actually not be thinking about anything else. I can actually enjoy nature and all that God has created. Like today, the skies are just a beautiful blue. I hope and pray that wherever you are that the skies are gorgeous that the sun is shining for you too but again I just really want to encourage all of you that are on this journey with me to to comment down below please don't be afraid please don't be afraid you know that if you've been here with me for a hot minute since I started doing these updates that if you post something anything I will respond to you um, and I just really enjoying really enjoy hearing from you I really enjoy getting feedback from all of you um, I'm just really enjoying our community our little community here I, th I think it's fantastic and if there are any of you out there that watch and are curious about to pyramid please feel free to ask questions if you have any concerns I am totally open to answering any questions that you may have if I have the answer for it and I can only speak from my own personal experience I am not a physician in any way shape or form um, but I can tell you from my own personal experience of what I have dealt with, what I continue to deal with, um, what I didn't like, what I do like. Um, I will say that I guess since we are here and since we are talking and hopefully this is recording the sound okay, hopefully I won't have to scrap this video. But I guess one of my concerns right now is, as I had posted in my last video, um, the fact that I put on two pounds recently, which again, I, th I kind of contribute that to the fact that I bought Oreos recently just because I, I just had a hankering for them. Um, but I haven't purchased any more. That's over and done with. I go, I go through that every once and again. But I'm just hoping and praying that the Tapiramate is not stopping working for me. And I guess that's where I'm going to really have to keep an eye on things. I'm really going to have to continue to monitor myself to see how it is that I'm feeling. my hunger levels, uh, my satisfaction level. I will say last night that, and I know better, I had some lasagna last night. I, I don't know if where you are at, if you have Schwann's near you, um, but the Schwann's guy came to our office yesterday and I don't always order from him, but I did order a few things yesterday. And 
I love their lasagna, but I learned the hard way last night that they have their individual um, things of lasagna. And technically, it's, it's really like a couple of servings, but I typically eat one of them, the whole thing. And I did eat the whole thing last night just because of the fact that um, I hadn't really eaten much of anything for lunch. So I was getting quite hungry when it came to dinner last night. And even though I had gotten to a point where I was partway through it and I really should have stopped and I knew I should have stopped and it would have been totally and completely fine stopping, I just kind of tossed it out the window and I kept eating. Um, I think because it, <clears throat> it tasted so good and Again, because I hadn't eaten any lunch, and um, but again, I've I've done that before though, where you know maybe I've gotten busy at work and just you know hadn't eaten any lunch and things like that. Uh, but so I just I told myself last night, um, note to self: next time I have one of those. When I cook it, I'm just going to cut it in half and just eat half of it for one serving and call it good. Because the point being was I was miserable later. I ate the whole thing, shouldn't have, because I was miserable. I knew better when I had eaten part of it because I was totally satisfied. But it was, I think, maybe some of the old tapes playing in my brain. And because it just tasted so good, I just ate too fast. And since I had started the tapiramate, I found that I, I've i been typically eating a little bit slower. But again, I, I just think that it was because I was over hungry, not having had lunch. And... I had to go to my church to practice. I have a funeral that I have to sing for on Thursday morning. And so it was later by the time I had gotten home last night. Um, so just, just a conglomeration of things. The one thing that I have been learning throughout this process though, even with the two pound weight gain and even with eating um, that whole little lasagna last night, is the fact of um, being a little less harsh on myself. Because I don't know about you, but I know for myself, I have always been so terribly hard on myself. I beat myself up terribly. If I don't do everything just perfectly, I, oh my gosh. I will just, you know, beat myself up, something terrible. <clears throat> and, and that's not right. That's not right at all. I'm, I'm just learning through this whole process of, of trying to be nicer to myself. And, and I'm, I've been watching a show... I don't know if any of the rest of you have watched it, and I don't know any of the rest of your views or everything. I'm a Christian. I do have a bisexual son, and so I try to keep my views open and loving in all facets of life. And uh, the other day, I started to watch Queer Eye. It's they used to have the show Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which I did watch at one time. And they have a newer version of it with five different, five newer guys on this. And they help men and women. Um, the thing that I've been learning through watching that has been about how they help a person 
learn to love themselves. I've really been learning a lot. Um, it's, it's funny. It's very touching. It's, um, they, they just really, 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 really help people to learn how to stop beating themselves up how to love themselves, how to stop the negative self-talk. And that's, that's something that I want to work on for us on this channel. For you today, if you're like me at all, if you beat yourself up, if you're very hard on yourself like I am, for today, I want you to think of one positive thing, just one for today, one positive thing that you like about yourself, and I want you to write it down. Maybe it's that you like your eyes, or maybe it's that you feel that you're kind, maybe it's that you feel that you're funny. Maybe it's that you feel that you're compassionate. Whatever it might be, whatever that one positive thing for today, I want you to write that down. And I'd like you to keep a list, just a running list. Just start today with just one thing. And then when tomorrow comes, I'd like you to write down one more thing positive and each day write down another new thing just one thing a day a positive thing and when you get down to the end of a week when let's see today is Tuesday when we get down to the weekend I'm gonna shoot another video this weekend and I'm gonna do the same thing I am going to, this is a challenge, not only for you, but for me. I'm going to start today. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. And I am going to write down something positive about myself starting today. And I will write down something positive every day the rest of this week. This weekend, I will film another video. And I'm going to tell you every, every positive thing that I wrote down about myself. And I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it with you. And I'm hoping that you guys will be willing to share your positive uh, thoughts of yourselves with me in the comments below on the next video because I think it's so important that we not only lift each other up but that we lift ourselves up because we have to love ourselves too we have to have some positive self-talk because it's part of the depression, it's part of, of the anxiety, it's, it's part of living in that space, that negative space where we just feel so, uh, and we just need to start loving on ourselves start being nice to ourselves we've got this whole world that is so mean we certainly don't need to be mean to ourselves right so I challenge you today it's a very simple challenge it's not hard it takes absolutely no money just a pen or pencil and a piece of paper or you could even type it in your phone if you've got, like, say, some kind of app in your phone. Um, you can type it in your phone, whatever, and keep track of 
for the rest of the week. And again, I would love it if you would share with me what you wrote down that you find that you love about yourself. Positive things that you find about yourself that you that you really enjoy. I'm not sure what mine is going to be today. I got a few different things in mind, but we only have to write down one. And so that's all you need to focus on is just one thing. So anyway, I need to get back to work. Hopefully this video does well, that it shot well, that it's not too jiggly, that it's not too noisy. But I pray that you are healthy, that you're happy, that you're safe, and I pray that you have peace in your life. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great week. Make sure to write down one thing that you love about yourself today and every day for the rest of the week. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.